most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Not much happening in the tropics, but Philippe's out there and it's slowly starting to make its turn north. And it's going to follow a path that we've seen several times already this hurricane season. One close enough to us to maybe rile up the surf a little bit higher rip current uh, risk than normal, but we are expecting it to stay a safe distance away to where we're not going to see the wind or rain associated with Philippe. It's not going to be that strong anyway. Probably the weakest system to pass by us off the coast this season. Highs over the next eight days. That's really where our biggest impact is going to arrive is the cold air coming. These are the highs dropping from around 80 degrees the next few days to 60 Sunday, Monday and maybe even into other parts of next week, though quickly jumping back into the 70s. That's usually what happens when we get a burst of colder air. Of course, it's going to be much colder up in Canada, and then it kind of loses some of its strength as it moves our way, but still strong enough to bring us our coolest air since early May. And those morning temperatures are going to be what really probably shocks some of us since it's our first time experiencing 40s since about six months ago. And over the next few days, don't have to worry about a change just yet. Notice tomorrow, 50s and 60s uh, rising up into the 60s by mid morning 70s by lunchtime, maybe a few more 80s like we saw today and maybe a few more clouds like we saw today. But tomorrow looks dry. Thursday looks mostly dry and then Friday into Saturday shower chances get elevated a little bit more sun headed down, but a lot of the cloud cover we had earlier today is already gone and things are very quiet across the area and we like quiet and that's expected to stick around even as that front moves through. It's not going to get majorly disruptive, but just some changes to the weather a little bit. We're at 77 in Greenville, Kinston and Goldsboro, 75 in Kenansville, 76 in Beaufort. Even with that northeast breeze, we're still seeing comfortable weather, a little cool in the mornings, but each afternoon temperatures still get up into the 70s and 80s and still expecting maybe another wave of patchy cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow. As far as rain chances right now, not anticipating much over the next 48 hours. You can see rain chances kind of come in a little bit late Thursday and as we head to Friday and Saturday as that cold front arrives, we start to get a better chance for some spotty showers and it's kind of the cold front, but it's also some moisture kind of associated with Philippe way off in the Atlantic. Notice that heavier rain stays off the coast, but every once in a while it brings us some moisture and especially as that front moves in late Friday into Saturday, that's when we could start to see rain chances get a little bit higher. So for football, interesting forecast could be some rain in the area. It'll be light, but still, you know, light rain is not fun to sit through a game with. So we'll watch that forecast closely. Temperature still in the 70s, so that cold air just not here just yet. That really starts to push in on Saturday as winds pick up. Notice a morning temperature of 63 highs, maybe in the low 70s if we're lucky as that front pushes through and the winds pick up. That's really going to bring in the colder air quickly, so not much of a warm up. And then notice 49 by Sunday morning, 45 by Monday morning. Not going to rot a few low 40s, but no 30s expected with this round of cold air. Looks like by Sunday, it may be time to uh, find that chili recipe or some of those <laughs> other comfort foods that you like. There you go. You know where your jacket is. I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm you all may, set. Might need it. Maybe <laughs> some right. heat being turned on? Maybe. It's crazy. Probably. Yeah. Wow. All right. Thanks, Zach.